Good afternoon, Admiral Haynes. Have we established contact with the Britannia yet? Only garbled transmission, sir. Evidently, the Boscone jamming devices are quite effective. They should have been back by now. The lensman won't fail us. He's the most capable man we've got. He'll get us that information somehow. I'm sure of it. Everything depends on this mission. The freedom of our entire galaxy is at stake. Hmm? Identity sensors indicate patrol vessel Britannia now proceeding through quadrant 368 Delta, approaching the Iranian solar system. Destination on present heading, the planet McQueen. Britannia's safe. She's on our sensors. Sensors also indicate 10 Bosco cruisers in pursuit. Even the Britannia and the Lensman won't last long against those odds. May the cosmos protect them. Same thing about you. Negative. Yeah, this one is you. <laughs> now don't blow a relay in about it, Saul. I was only joking with you. I could never trade you in. It's gonna get awful lonely out here without you to keep me company. After all, you'll be all I've got after Kim leaves for Earth with Buzzker. Dinosaur. Buzzker, check him out, will ya? They don't look too stable to me. Well, you know how temperamental these old junk piles can be when you don't show them the proper respect. Ah! Uh. Wee hoo! Tell the old girl how sorry I am. for the trip to Earth. We can leave whenever you want. Come take a tour of the ship. She's a fixer upper, of course, but a classic. Ha. Huh. Hmm. What? Hmm. <laughs> well, I know she doesn't exactly pass the white glove test. Yes. But I'll clean her up. <laughs> and take a look at this, Kim. They don't make hatches like this nowadays. <laughs> Old but sturdy. You see? Real, real sturdy. Oh. The dealer let me take her out for a test drive, and I'm telling you, she runs great and solid <laughs> like a rock. You see? Oh, no. It must be kind of tough on your dad sending you out on your own like this. I mean, isn't he going to be a little lonely all by himself down there? He'll be all right as long as Saul's there to help out. He'll miss you. Saul's a robot, a hunk of metal, a computer, not a son. He'll miss you all right. Well, speak of the devil. 
<laughs> good to see you, old friend. It's good to see you too, Buzz. What are you up to? Keeping one step ahead of the bad guys, as usual. <laughs> I take it Gibbs already on board. Yeah, he's aboard. I've just been giving him the grand tour of this new ship of mine. Hi there, Bob. <laughs> Hello, son. So how's this new ship check out? Just terrific for a junk collector like him. Uh, you're going to be <laughs> drunk when I'm finished with you. <laughs> <laughs> I know you two boys have to leave early in the morning, so why don't you come down here and have dinner with me on McQueen? Good idea. Your coffee's the greatest. Sensors indicate an unidentified space vessel on a collision course with McQueen. Buzz, are you picking up the same reading? I'm picking it up, all right. It looks out of control. It's heading straight for a population center. Hundreds of people could be killed if we don't stop it. Kim, you've got to intercept that vessel. Right. the ship. Good. Think you can land her? I'll try. Good luck. Thanks. Got it under control? Barely. I'm gonna try taking her down to the farm. You're gonna be all right. Just lean on me. It's all up to you now. We'll have no defense uh, against uh, uh, the Boscone DNA weapon unless you take the neutralizing formula to Admiral Ames. Uh, uh, just take it easy. Medical help is on its way right now, okay? I feel something strange, almost like a vibration. Huh? What's that thing on your hand? It's the lens. Now it belongs to you. This lens on my hand must be taken to Admiral Haynes. Uh, I'm sorry, but I don't know the man. Headquarters must get the information stored in my lens. What the?
Never before has one so young been chosen to wear the land. We have judged your courage, intelligence, and strength of spirit to be sufficient. Kimball Kinnison, you are now a lensman. A minute ago, it was on your hand. Now it's on mine. Seems impossible, but it's there, all right. Hey, why me? I don't know what a lens is, or what it's for, or even how to use it. So how can I be a lensman? there for a while. Believe me, you aren't the only one. I'm fine, but the pilot's in pretty bad shape. How you doing, buddy? Hey, this guy's not even warm. I'd say he's been dead at least a couple of hours. Huh? <sighs> is that what I think it is? Well, I see it, but I don't believe it. I know it sounds crazy, but it was on the pilot's hand when he got off the ship, and then when he died, it transferred itself to me somehow. Then the ship's pilot was a... a lensman. That's right. And now it seems that Kim is a lensman, too. Moscone must have been chasing that lensman. That's just the kind of thing they do, blow up a whole planet just because the guy they're after happened to land on it. It indicates imminent destruction of planet McQueen. Ah! Ah! Listen to me, Kim. I want you and Buzz to take this ship and try to get away. I'll decoy him and Buzz's ship. But you can't do that. Pop, they'll blow your way. I didn't ask for an argument. Just do it. Take care, son. But, Dad! You'll be killed. You don't stand a chance. He's right. If that's what it takes to save you, so be it. Now get going. That's an order. Seconds. Then prepare to leave orbit. Leave orbit! Leave orbit! Wait a minute, sir. Do you see that ship leaving from the other side of the planet? It must be the Britannia. If you allow the Britannia to escape, you will face the wrath of Elmer. You need not remind me of that. Silence, pest! The lensmen shall be destroyed. Alert. Ten Bascon Dam cruisers closing on our position. Ten, huh? Correct. Then it worked. They think we're the Britannia. Probability of escape is quite low. I know. Dad, do you read me? Go ahead, Kim. That ship is unarmed, and the Boscon are closing in on your position. You've got to get out of there. Kim, listen to me. Your survival is the only thing that matters now. You are one of the rare few who have been chosen to wear the lens. You've been given the greatest honor and the greatest responsibility known to mankind. Your destiny awaits you, as does mine. Make me proud of you, son.
fine man, your dad. One of the best I've ever known. Well, goodbye, old friend, and rest easy wherever you are. If you hadn't lost an arm when he was with a patrol, he would have been a lensman himself. You've got a lot to live up to, Kim. I found back in an old storage bin. <laughs> Pow! Here, catch. Huh? huh? This electric battle axe is a real collector's item. I haven't seen anything like this one since the old days on Omicron 40C. Those Boscombe better watch out. Yep. Hey, what's going on? Whoa! Hey! Uh, must be some kind of anti-gravity device. No kidding! Uh! Ugh. Oh, my head! Uh. 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 Busker, where are you? Are you all right? As soon as I get a report from the damage control party, I... I'll let you know. Quiet, Buzz. I think I hear somebody coming. There's a lensman piloting this ship. Do you know if he's still alive? I'm afraid he didn't make it. Will you look at that? Not a scratch on it! Are there any other crew members on board at all? I haven't seen anyone, as far as I know. We're the only ones aboard. Why don't you let me have a look at that arm? Oh, that's okay. I'll be all right. Let us be the huh? judge of that, all right? Look, oh, Captain, hey. he's wearing a lens. What? Where'd you get that? gave it to me before he died. I don't know much about it. I'm supposed to take it to a guy named Haynes, an admiral. But that's impossible. There's no way a lens could be transferred. No way at all. Is that right? Do you feel all right? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Uh... Huh? What is it? Are you quite sure you're feeling all right? The 
boss going to found us somehow. Chris, are you qualified to pilot the Britannia? Yes, sir, I am. Then I'll take our ship and create a diversion. Get this ship out of here and back to the base. They need that formula. Let's move. Better strap in, you two. It's going to get hot around here in a minute. Hope we get out of this in one piece. What's going to happen when the Boscone catch up to the patrol ship? Can you track him? I'm trying. There he is. I've got to fix on him. He's flying right down their throat in order to draw their fire. Go get him, Henderson! Henderson. He's hit. We better get out of here while we still can. I've got to get through to Command Central. Headquarters, come in. This is Britannia calling. What's your status, Britannia? Under attack and taking evasive action, Commander Henderson's ship has been hit. Is the lensman all right? Is he on board the Britannia? The lensman was killed. His lens was transferred to a young man from McQueen. Hey, I have a name. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Do you mind telling us? Kim. Kimball Kinnison. Do you read me, headquarters? We're being fired upon. <gasps> They're jamming our communications. We'll have to try to outrun them in hyperspace. I don't think I've officially met the pilot. Clarissa McDougal is my name. Chris to my friends. Hi, Chris. Is there anything we can do to help? All you can do is cross your fingers. Going into I'm... hyperspace is always risky. I'm crossing my toes. Hold on, you two. have a little talk about that lens you've got on your hand. What about it? That lens was custom made especially for the pilot of this ship. It was attuned in precise harmony with his electro-bio system so that nobody else could ever use or wear it. Then what's it doing on my hand? <laughs> got me. But I know that it's vital to get that lens back to headquarters. The Boss Cone have a new secret weapon, and the formula we need to defend against it is stored in that lens. That formula is the only thing that stands in the way of the Boscone's complete domination of our galaxy. No wonder they'll do anything to get their hands on it. That explains why they're... We'll have to re-enter normal space. Lensman escaped from us. Stay hostage. I'm warning you. Lexley, you should have listened to Zwip. Yes, sir. You have failed me. I swear I will not fail you again, my dear Helmuth. I'll bring you the lens. <laughs> Zwip, you are now in command. I am your slave, mighty Helmuth. I will not fail you. I must have that lens. That debris storm was the last thing we needed. 
She took a beating, but we'll do what we can. The best thing you can do is keep your toes crossed for us, Buzz. It's worked pretty well so far. <laughs> All right, Chris, whatever you say. Now, I wonder what happened to that magnetic driver. I've got to go find it. Kim, would you mind studying the native flora some other time? We need help reloading the components. Coming. Kim seems so wrapped up in his thoughts. Yeah, well, he just lost his dad. Oh, I didn't know that. I'll load that one there. up for you, Kim. You must be tired. But I'm not very tired at all. I was very sorry to hear about your father, Kim. Thank you. It's nice to know somebody cares. <laughs> well, I do. <laughs> huh? Can I ask you something, Buzz? Sure, Kim. Do you think Chris is cute? She cute? Yeah. Guess so. <laughs> that is, of course, if you like your women on the short side. Short? Why does it keep doing that? Huh? Strange, I could have sworn I heard something. Illogical to be afraid of someone who has just saved your life. You're right, thanks. You must be a new lensman, otherwise you wouldn't have needed my help. Excuse me. Ah! My name is Warzel, and I too wear the lens. Uh, and my name Try is... using your lens instead of speech. Concentrate, focus your thoughts, and I shall hear you. My name is Kim Kinnison. Well done, Lensman. Now, let us find your friends. The plants which attacked you are controlled by the Iconon aristocracy, who by now are no doubt holding your friends as prisoners. The Iconon are a cruel and bloodthirsty race, one of the worst in the Boscon Empire. Liberating your friends will be difficult. We must proceed very carefully. What was that? Boscone Patrol, there are hundreds huh? of them. Oh, great!
The Vascon Empire supplies the Iconon with Thionite, a dangerous narcotic drug. The Iconon are addicted to it and are therefore slaves to their Vascon masters. One of the side effects of Thionite addiction is a constant need for food, which in the case of the Iconon means only one thing, meat. Fresh meat. Kim, you hear me? We must return to the Britannia. But how? Get down! Uh, hey, that's our way out, Warzel! Kim's injuries would make it extremely difficult to... Buzzkirk! <laughs> oh, well. Exactly as I tell you. Make 
Make sure he doesn't use that radio to alert the others. Indeed, a point well taken, Buster. Kim, we'll reach the Britannia in a few minutes. Hold on. Their ship has been located, Commander. Proceeding to the indicated coordinates. Excellent. <laughs> This time, they cannot escape. Oh, be still. Kim's pretty bad. Let's move out. Better look at your screen first. Huh? It would appear that we are surrounded. Gris, are there any galactic torpedoes aboard? Yes, there are three left. Good. Then I have a way out. Huh? We will use the torpedoes as escape vessels. But those are the controls for the self-destruct system. Precisely. In order to distract the Bascon, we must destroy the Britannia. 60 seconds should give us enough time to prepare and launch the torpedoes. If we launch the torpedoes at the same time the ship self-destructs, the explosion should cover our departure. The Boscone will think they're just parts of the ship flying off into space. Removing the warheads should allow us enough room. Uh, Wurzel, I don't think that my body's gonna fit in a tiny space like this one. We have no choice. Chris, you will go with Kim. Of course. Now hold on a minute, Chris. I'm going with Kim. After all, he is my responsibility. You don't seem to understand, Buzz Kirk, that Kim is badly injured, and wherever we end up, he's going to need a nurse. Right. Besides, you'd never fit in there with him. Yeah, I guess you're right. Prepare to fire. <laughs> Quickly, Buzz Kirk. All right, I'm in already. You... I have preset our auto-navigational systems for the planet Radimix. There is a galactic operative there who can help us. Chris, there was only one homing device aboard. It will take you and Kim to the operative's location. Buzz Kirk and I will have to join up with you later. Good luck. Lensman chose to destroy himself and his ship rather than undergo the humiliation of defeat. You've done well, Swilk. Proceed to Radovix and await my orders. Is that clear? My lord, the Radalixians are a spineless race of Thionite addicts. May I suggest, your majesty, that our forces are needed more in silence? Do not presume to anticipate my wishes. Go to Radonix and await my orders. Nothing more. Of course, Master. I will do exactly as you say. formula is stored in the lens that was somehow transferred to Kinnison, a resident of the planet McQueen. Kinnison? Kimball Kinnison? You knew his father, right, sir? Yes. Gary Kinnison. He was a fine soldier. Sir, young Kinnison was with Nurse McDougal aboard the Britannia, and the identity sensors can find no trace of the ship. It appears it's been destroyed by the Boscombe. Very well. Without the formula, they'll have the advantage, but we just can't afford to wait any longer. 
Ready the fleet to engage the enemy. Yes, sir. Wouldn't want to be a brainless slob like you. Uh, uh, hey, what's the big idea? You're one of those galactic control synthesizers, aren't you? Stand up! I said stand up! Now, it's not that I don't like you, you understand. It's just that I don't like you, you understand? Uh -oh. We should send you to the mines for inciting a riot. I didn't start it. I'm loyal to the cause. That's what you say. I think you are a traitor. Oh, ah, I caught you. You've been thinking again. <laughs> Save on you, fool. One of these days, that big mouth of yours is going to get you in trouble. That right. Listen, buddy, this mouth of mine has earned me more money than I can count. <laughs> Sounds like Bill just came home. Yeah. Mm-mm. I feel okay, Chris. Lie down, that's an order. It's hot enough to fry your brains out. Has there been any word from the Galactic Patrol? Uh-uh. You're too weak to move anyway. Ah. I'm well enough to travel. I've got to get this lens to him quickly. I, I can't just lie here and do nothing. For now, that's exactly what you're gonna do. Well, you should have seen this dude at the club tonight. Huge guy with horns. It took six Bosco to bring him down. I'll bet you that's Buzz. Buzz Craig was his name. I've got to talk to him. No. That's gonna be a little difficult, seeing as how he's a prisoner in the finite mind. <laughs> Level three, the worst. Down there, there ain't nothing but slaves. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to be the one to tell you this, but the third level's a death trap. No one's made it out of there. Not alive, anyway. I've got to get him out of there. <clears throat> well, it's your funeral. There's no skin off my nose either way. I'd go and get everyone out of that mine if I thought it'd do any good. But no one could help. There are too many guards and constant patrols. Finite, the slave maker, poison of the Empire. But we'll destroy them one day. Yes. Radlitz used to be the garden spot of this star system. Now it's a wasteland. And that makes me sick. Sick! <laughs> Nothing left but a bunch of Bosco and Finite Junkies. <laughs>
drop me. Stop you, I came along to help. I knew you'd go after your friend. I just been wondering what took you so long, sir. Yeah, <laughs> right. It took Chris a long time to go to sleep, didn't it? Chris, wait a minute. I thought you two agreed that I shouldn't go. <laughs> nah, I didn't want her to worry about us, that's all. <laughs> Pretty smart, huh? <laughs> uh, you gonna need this. I wasn't told that there was a change. Well, there was, but you check it out if you want. Oh, go ahead. All right, thank you. I was pleased to learn that Dianite production is up 10% this quarter. Excellent. With such dedication to the Boscone Alliance, our army shall crush the galactic resistance. Long live the Empire! that'll get the guards out. Now, the ventilating shaft that'll lead you to the third level is down there. Follow it all the way down, but don't go after Buzzcook until all the guards are out of there. Right, I got it. And don't go caught!
straight ahead? That's not a good idea! Escape again. Silence! 
I will not accept such incompetence. Uh, master, I will not fail you. Indeed, you will not. No, no! Patrol has mobilized. 
They are planning a massive attack against the Bastor Alliance. All warships proceed at once to your predetermined battle coordinates.
Kinsman, and I will spare your life. Ah! Behold, your galactic patrol is being annihilated by the DNA weapon of my Bosco warships. <laughs> no! It isn't true! It's another one of your Delgon tricks! You learn quickly, Lensman. But I assure you that what you are seeing is not an illusion. However, if you relinquish the lens, I will call off the attack. Uh, the power of the lens will never be yours. As long as there's a breath in my body. You dare such insolence? You think that you can hurt me? Report. What's going on? I'm not sure, sir. My controls have gone haywire. I don't understand. It's impossible. How can this be? Look at this, sir. The lensman has transmitted the formula. What? Then Kinnison's alive? What should I do with this information, sir? We'll use it. Program the shields immediately. The power of the lens is great. Should I notify the fighters, Admiral Haynes? Yes. Give them the order to attack. We've got him now. At least we won't see Helmuth again. Chris! Chris! Chris, are you all right? Chris, answer me! Chris! Chris!
seven. Engage the Moscone fighters. Stronghold is under attack by the Galactic Patrol. We've got to get out of here. Warzel, Chris is still down there. Now I get to eliminate two lensmen.
The following movie has been classified PG. Parental guidance recommended. Some scenes may be unsuitable for young children. In the 25th century, danger threatened our galaxy. Warships from the evil Boscone Empire were attacking a group of the galaxy's merchant vessels and cities with new and powerful weapons, and were establishing colonies one by one. Our galactic patrol built the high-speed vessel Britannia in order to capture Boscone's top secret weapons data. Those who carried out these operations were the Lensmen, a group of warriors especially chosen from among the galaxy patrol force. The Lensmen, endowed with the almighty power of the Lens, finally retrieved the secret data after a fierce battle. However, on their return journey, they encountered a threat far more serious than that encountered in their recent victory.